Earlier on the show, I was at Underbelly, which is right around the corner, and that is the venue for tonight's Oh Say Can You Sing. Now, if you look over my shoulder, 1904 Music Hall, that used to be the venue to Oh Say Can You Sing, the grand finale. Now, if you just walk a little farther, the neighbor to 1904 is Spliffs. It has a truly unique menu, and it's open late. Spliffs is like no other. First of all, it's open to one in the morning, so how many restaurants can say that? Right now, I'm with Jason to learn all about this place. It's good to see you again. You, too, Mark. you always have your hand with some very creative places. This one is definitely that. So what can people expect? Uh, so it's essentially a late night gastro pub. Uh, emphasis, obviously, on uh, quality, uh, quality ingredients. Are we're known for our mac and cheese bowls? That's kind of uh, kind of what really put our uh, name on the map. There, uh, we do uh, cavatappi pasta with our own beer cheese base, um, and then we add uh, tons of crazy ingredients. Uh, since uh, moving over here to the corner, we've added uh, some um, amazing burgers. Uh, we do uh, double decker, uh, third pound burgers. So you're getting almost uh, 12 ounces of meat on that guy. Uh, with some uh, really crazy fun toppings on there. And like you said, we're up until uh, 1 a.m., seven nights a week, uh, serving up all the food, craft beer. Uh, we have 24 rotating taps. Uh, it's just a really, really good option for late night food. And if you can't describe this neighborhood, because you're an expert with it, because if you walk around the block, you have something to do with a store like every 50 feet. Yeah, we've well, we've been here, you know, two years, or sorry, two, been this location two years but we started you know uh 2015 next to 1904 uh so um in the 10 years since 1904 has been around uh we've kind of just seen these niches and this this really just came for a need for late night food after a concert you know all we had was 7-eleven down here so you know if you wanted some quality food we were like hey let's let's make it happen and uh since then the response from you know um the, just the people of jacks uh the culinary scene and just having some amazing you know some amazing direction with chef cassie um it's been really good you know and people people have discovered us and we've Grown. And if you can, walk me through your portfolio, right? So here we are at Spliffs. Again, very unique and creative for what you're offering. Then you walk down the street here and you have the taco shop. We did, and that's, uh, that's a new concept. Uh, just did this year um, uh, post COVID. Uh, it's attached to 1904, so it's essentially 1904's restaurant. Um, and uh, yeah, there we do uh, scratch tacos. Uh, we have about 10 different kind of unique tacos from a brisket taco, a Hawaiian pork, a mac and cheese taco, uh, a keto taco for all our health conscious friends out there. Um, and that's another good late night option. It's only open uh, five nights currently, but uh, open late as well. And then if you just turn the corner and keep on walking down, let's say about 100 feet, you have underbelly. Whole different menu, whole different concept. Exactly. Uh, so like I said, again, a little something for everybody. That's, you know, a barbecue kind of uh, concept over there, new American food. So that's uh, uh, something different. Like you said, we have, uh, you know, gastro pub, taco shop, uh, barbecue, whatever you're hungry, we have you, you know. And then the unique thing about Swiss though, it's open late. How many times does that happen? You're looking for some good food late at night. You have everyone covered. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, being centrally located downtown's great. So you're on the, you know, south side, beaches, north side, wherever, you know, come on down downtown. We're only 10, 15 minute drive and, you know, we got you. And I see a flight of beer in front of us. What do we have here? Yes. Uh, so we got, uh, uh, so again, we, we feature all types of beers, try to feature a little something for everybody. Uh, an amazing Pilsner. Uh, we have a sour, a IPA, and then a stout. So depending on what your beer preference is, you know, if you like something a little more bite, we have we have actually about four or five different IPAs to choose from. A um, little lighter, we have a couple Pilsners always on, um, and we always rotate. So we keep the we keep the style on, and we rotate the actual brewery. So there's always going to be a IPA, there's always going to be a stout, there's always going to be a red ale or something like that for you. All right. Well, hey, thanks again for all your time and your information. We appreciate it. Absolutely, Mark. Thank you, guys.